What's up everyone? Welcome to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now I did a, a stream video thing on this before and um, yeah I basically got three stars in every cup in 150cc which means then every cup uh, below that so the 50cc and the 100cc is then given the three star cup as well. However uh, there is uh, two other CCs, as it were, that actually uh, are in the Grand Prix mode. And I thought, why not try and do like proper true 100%? You know, uh, uh, like back in the day, you'd have to do 50cc, 100cc, 150cc, and the mirror mode, get them all gold to essentially get 100%. Um, which would unlock you all the characters and carts and stuff. Obviously from like Double Dash onwards. <laughs> Not Mario Kart 64, no. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm i just going to try Mirror Mode. I'm not going to try 200cc, even though I've already done the Shell Cup. But I think the Shell Cup, if, if I just go through this. Ooh. Got metal. Ooh. Just going to, uh, what's the Shell Cup? Yeah, I mean, Moo Moo Meadows, Mario Circuit, Cheap Cheap Beach, and Toast Turnpike are very simple sort of circuits. But obviously, Mirror Mode is going to be... Oh, boy. I think... Oh. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I think I had Rosalina last time, didn't I? On something. I can't remember what the... Uh... Ah, oh, I wish I remember what the cart setup was. Oh wait, it was it was this, and it was it was something else. Was it the roller? It might have been the roller, because the handling is quite high for that. Uh, it's got a bit more grip as well. Actually, wait. I want to change this. Just uh, what else we got? Oh, that increases grip. Ooh. Although that increases the speed and the weight. Ooh. Looking through everything. What was the... So the grip only goes up by a tiny bit. Okay, okay. I'll have the flower, why not? Alright, uh, I mean, where do we start, really? Do we go, do we go to the hell that is Baby Park, or, uh... It's all going to be reversed. Let's let's just start. Let's start normal. Let's go mushroom cup, and we'll see how we do. Mario Kart. Hopefully, mirror mode won't be screaming over too much. But it is 150 cc, so. Bear that in mind as well. Uh, coin early. Okay. Uh, I mean, the objective is to win every race. Obviously, I would go with my Mario Party boy, Bowser. I think when I was doing the uh, 150cc three stars before, I was doing it with uh, Rosalina. I think. Fly in my room now. Why would you do this? I'm also trying to collect a lot of coins because you need 
maybe like 10,000 coins or something to get a uh, gold Mario and the gold cart. Or it might just be gold Mario, I don't know. Oh boy, at that time you would be cheating. Son of a gun. Do I line this up? How you... Okay, I didn't get hit by the thing. I also apologize for how bad the game might look. Um, in some parts. Genuinely, I've got uh, kind of like, mm, this could be the problem. Again, over that again. Oh, but I nailed it. What is this? Oh, but you would. And he's got a mushroom as well. You... Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I apologize if some of it goes a bit pixely. But, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I... I... I'm unsure... Oh, we're going to handle him on that. But is it going to be... I don't like bikes. What, can I get handling above that third bar? That's to the third... Ooh. Okay. That's good. I uh, bet it's with that. Ooh. More hand. Um, yeah, I, I, it, again, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go through like a bunch of other settings just to try and see. If, um, if there's, if, if, if it's something sort of that I can change, um, yeah. You know, screw it. We'll do we'll do the DLC first. Actually, I know I started off doing mushroom cut, but we're gonna do the DLC stuff, which wasn't DLC in deluxe, or whatever. Going with the big boy. The big boy. Big Bowser boy. <laughs> well, sorry Luigi, but you died right there. I know I know someone out there is gonna be like, oh here's the optimum you know, like thing. And it's gonna involve a bike. But honestly The bikes that the bikes that turn like really violently in like Mario Kart Wii would they were like terrible. They were genuinely terrible. Yeah, you could corner quickly because you'd go into the corner and you wouldn't have the sort of like you you I don't know. It was it, it was just like that's not the best thing to do. Yeah, it, it, obviously you can say, well, it was the fastest, so therefore, you know, it was worth it. I'm like, no. They were terrible bikes. The only good one was the Wario bike. That was the only good one. Or well, the other bikes were trash. Oh, we're actually having. Oh. Just keep drifting. 
keep on drifting, keep on drifting. We're doing pretty good. We've got two bananas still left out of a triple. And um, we've got... How did that hit me? Are you are you shitting me right now? The the one gap, the bit of a gap, the game decides to just go nah. Fuck you. <laughs> That's uh, hate that. Why can't it just can you just hit the bananas? Like, that's the whole point. I'd ever keep bananas behind me. Otherwise, I'd just throw them away to defend myself against red shells. That moment when a uh, triple bananas is literally worse than a single banana. I can't get copyright strike for this guy. <laughs> Literally every like person who uploads anything on YouTube's worst fear. Jesus Christ. All the jumps. It's weird because some of them are actually some of these jumps are actually pointless to do because you lose so much speed because you're in the air. Oh, well, I'm gonna fuck myself, am I right? They're like a mile behind anyway. I, I, I gotta be honest, I never played, like, I guess excite bike on the NES. Never had an NES. But uh if the sort of like avoid mud go over jumps sort of course this goes for. Seems like it'd be quite fun. Is it is it on the NES classic? No, why why would Nintendo put Something people might be interested in on an old console. I mean, in in, in my opinion, I think the uh, these sort of like resurgence of classic consoles is a bit kind of crap, and not just because the PlayStation Classic was crap, <laughs> but it's like. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, yeah. No, I, I, I just think they're all kind of a bit naff, really. Because, like, okay, you have another small console to play stuff on. Like, have they, have Nintendo ever wanted to implement something like achievements or trophies to, like, you do, like, cool, like, a reward or something, you know, of like, you know, oh, you beat, you know, like, you know, like Mario Kart e Deluxe, you go, oh, you've beaten every cup, you know, every cup in the game on every CC, you know, with three stars, we're gonna, you know, you get something for that. Like, I think that'd be... Like they, like they, they could literally just call it something basic, like oh, challenges for these games, and it's like, you know, like it doesn't have to like have any kind of like value or anything. It's just like, have you done this thing in this game that's quite difficult? You know. There would be a blue shell just as I got in first place. How about you suck an absolute Bowser dick? Luckily I can still see most of the track.
Luigi getting all these bombs, Jesus. Does he get like a special power up or something? Like if this was Double Dash. Anyway, yeah, no, about the classic. It's like, like, you're giving people, like, a thing that they want in limited quantity, right? But you don't put more than, what, 20 games on the systems? Why? Why only 20 games? Like, put all your iconic IPs and their, like, best game or best, like, couple of games on the console and then go, okay, here's some hidden gems on the thing as well. But no, they, they, they don't do that. They'd rather inconvenience you. And and uh, the, the thing of it being like limited quantity, it's like well, like I look at it and I go, mm, that's a bit expensive. And then it's like, oh, it's already all sold out. And I'm like, oh, so I couldn't even get one even if I wanted one. I mean, you could probably find like secondhand ones now, but that's not the point. It's like when they come out and it's like, oh, do you want this? And then and then what? We've got a. Mega Drive one slash Genesis soon, and then there's rumors of the N64 Classic, and I'm like, if the N64 Classic doesn't have the games that I like, any of them, obviously I'm gonna get annoyed. But <laughs> I can understand why they wouldn't be on there, but like, then at that point you just <laughs> like, yeah, you you literally look at like your. <laughs> you're, you're like NES Classic, your SNES Classic, your PlayStation Classic. You just go. I'm j I'm just gonna emulate these. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna emulate the games that I want on PC. It's because it's better. You. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 I know like the emulating thing is a kind of a ooh kind of topic, but have you ever tried buying any like kind of retro console that's literally like... Okay, here's the thing. Have you ever tried to buy like a, any GameCube games? It's literally impossible because everyone went... Oh yeah, the GameCube is the best console in existence. Why would I get rid of mine? And why would I get rid of any of the games? Even if they could play it on the Wii, they just keep the they keep the console as well because they're like, well, why would I sell just the console? It's a bit of a yeah. And then ah, oh, and then when the places when like actual game stores and whatever actually go, okay, we're gonna, you know, someone's actually sold us, you know, a 64 game. And it's like, they're so expensive. Like, what, a, a mint... Like, uh, like okay, I've never... Oh, fucking hell. No. <laughs> Why this last bit when I'm ranting? Um... Oh, my done it. Have I done it? Boy, done it. Um, yeah, and it, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. It's like, do you want, like, it, it, it's like, oh, do you want an unboxed, like, unboxed uh, Majora's Mask, like, gold cartridge kind of thing? I'm like, eh, maybe. How much? £40. Fuck off. Forty pounds. You know what's you know what's cheaper than that? Almost anything that isn't a new game. <laughs> That's what annoys me the most. That's why people emulate because they go, I'm not paying, I'm not paying eighty pounds for Paper Mario on the N64. I'm not doing it. I'm not paying forty pounds for Pokemon Stadium Two. On the N6. I'm not doing it. 
then people go, okay, I'll just emulate it, and then they emulate it, and then they're playing it there. It's, there you go. Not even like collectors anymore. It's like people just want to play the games, and it's like everyone's like, nope, you can't do that. Anyway, in my ranting, <laughs> we've got the egg cup three stars mirror mode. Um, it was the amount of times I looked like I lost it in Dragon Driftway or Mute City it was getting a bit tense. Um, mm, mm, I don't know which one. Let's go. Let's just go crossing. Crossing cup. I'm all crossing. Yeah, I I think the classic consoles are crap. Just Nintendo, just release like all of the old games I can play on like Switch. Like just do that. Oh, even if you sold like just just do it. <laughs> but then there are a lot of games that have like they've lost like the rights to sell them. Or there's like some kind of competition for rights. For example, um, if you try and buy Rokos Tycoon 3, you can't buy it anywhere unless it's a physical copy because of um, some sort of uh, rights dispute and um, other kind of. I won't say crap because it's not crap, but it's, that's not the point. But the, the kind of law and lawyers and stuff like that um, well you can't get it digitally so so then it's like well then there's more of a reason to emulate it because then people that are trying to rip you off of being like oh look this is the being like oh look Christ's sake. Like, oh look, here, here's a rare boxed copy of, I don't know, some random Japanese RPG that was on the N64. And then it's like the rights went out so they can't sell it digitally anymore. It's like, okay. But this is this is like a very rare game. Da -da -da -da. It's like you can buy it for a hundred pounds, and I'm like, no. I, th I, yeah, I, like okay, emulation. If, if, if I, I would say if you em emulate kind of newer games, I would say anything like if if, if basically if you emulate like PS3 the Wii U and the 360 it's like why or or even the PS2 because it's like come on like yeah you, you can still get those and they're not going to be you know expensive or rare um, un un unless there's obviously a game that you can't get because it was only released somewhere or you, you know the 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 thing I was just mentioning, where it's like you can't get the game digitally anymore because of rights or whatever or stuff like that. Like th that that I'm like fine with. I'm like yeah, whatever. And it it'd be the same with like older games as well, where it's like they can't like Nintendo can't like resell you. I'm trying to think of like an obscure game. I don't know, like maybe like a FIFA game. Like I don't, I don't know, I can't remember the last time a FIFA game was advertised on a Nintendo console. But like let's just say for example like FIFA. Like FIFA 64 or something. Like Nintendo doesn't have the rights to I'm saying this hypothetically by the way. Like let's just say if Nintendo didn't have the rights to do a FIFA game where the hell did you go? What? Sorry, the game. I'm playing a video game here. All talking about crap. You. 
wow, two green shells. Um, yeah. So it's like, okay, well, you can't get FIFA 64 anymore. And it's a rare game and people are offering it for like £50, £100, you know, something ridiculous just because it's a rare thing. Like, yeah, then at that point, no, Mario, you can't win. Son of a bitch, you won. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's... It, that, that kind of thing... That, that, that's the one where I'm like, oh yeah, no, you want to, that you want this game, you want to emulate this game because the people who made it can't, or the, yeah, the people who made it or the people who publish it can't republish it because of whatever reason. Sure, go for it. I have no problem with that. I need a better handling person. Luigi. Look at the handling. Yeah, basic car. <laughs> Let's go this one then. Yeah, like, just that. That's the point where, because I think there's one game. Um, like there's a couple of games that get put on abandonware, I think, or like abandonware kind of thing, which kind of no one has the rights uh, to the game anymore, so it just goes on kind of thing where it's free to download because no one, no one wants to pick up, no one wants to pick up the game and use the license or anything. The company who made it went bust, and the people who publish it may have gone bust or something. Why you go for Mario? I assume it's Mario, yeah. Yeah, like there's a, a game that was on, I know it was on Dreamcast, I think it's on PC. There's a Revolt, which is um, sort of like, you drive RC cars. That's kind of the thing, racing game with RC cars. Uh, it's a pretty good game, and um, that's abandonware as well. So you can you can go download that game for free, and no one is going to care. Uh, like, I mean, I think there's like uh, there might be like a donation page for the people who obviously uh, keep the abandonware and that kind of community. And they keep it alive, maybe, but. This has gone way off track from just playing Mario Kart. <laughs> I'll try and get on track. The, like, you get a topic from me and I can't stop talking about it until... And I go on many other topics. You just have to stop me. You may have also noticed, while I've been babbling on, and you're just watching the gameplay, um, that some of these maps are really confusing me. Even though it's just mirror mode. And I'm taking some of the corners way too fast. I'm pretty sure mirror mode is 150cc, but I don't know, when I was driving just with Bowser in a Yoshi's Circuit from uh, Double Dash, the turns... I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't played this game in a while and I'm coming straight into mirror mode rather than doing any kind of practice. With Mario Kart, what kind of practice do you need? I also realise I haven't been holding this behind me. That's a problem. Fun fact! There's, um... Th there's a bit of an exploit to essentially get, like, a ton of coins. And it, t it, it, t it takes a little bit. It, it takes like a lot of like grinding time, but it's not like too long. Um, if you go into coin runners and do it just you versus you versus your yeah, like one player versus second player, essentially you versus yourself. 
if you just have player one just go and collect all the coins that show up at like uh, on like an easy circuit to pick up coins like battle circuit then you can get you know like all the customization options and everything pretty quickly again I say it's an exploit because well yeah I'm not sure if anyone said anything like that why Whoa. Oh yeah, oh my god, the screen is the playback is well the stream is just gonna go nuts. I don't know why I said sc I meant stream, but then I said screen. Can we also talk about how Double Dash was the best Mario Kart? That if if it had sort of like additions that Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart DS in, included, it'd be the it'd be even an even better Mario Kart. Can we just talk about that? Because if Mario Kart Double Dash had the ability to do like the versus race. Well, it's it's not like the champion. It's not the Grand Prix or anything. Like you just go on, you know, a ton of tracks. And also, if they implemented, because um, <clears throat> they had um, all cup tour, and if they implemented all cup tour, and then they had like retro all cup tour, because then you add the retro cups as well. Although I guess if they did Mario Kart Double Dash again, essentially remastered it, and then did the retro things, but had the original Mario Kart Double Dash courses, I guess they wouldn't be retro, it'd be retro and future. That'd be weird. Yes, give, give us Double Dash again. Because <clears throat> there's, there's, there's really nothing else you can do to Mario Kart now, apart from you know, like make a new one, add, remove some characters, possibly add an item so it's what, like the crazy seven, the crazy eight. R it's right in front of you, Red Shell. Why the fuck did you go over there? Yeah, I, I again, the, yeah, because you can't really do much with like single characters anymore. It's like okay, we've got the bikes from Mario Kart Wii. I mean, you could add like the mission mode from Mario Kart DS, but if if they haven't added it since, why would they add it into like the next one? It, it's it's kind of like the thing with again, like how Double Dash was like people go, oh, I don't want it to be two people on a car. I want to go back to one person on the car, and then people look back at. Double Dash, and they go, actually, that do Double Dash was the best. Yeah. I'm mm, not saying if a new Mario Kart was completely just the Double Dash concept. I think that would be a bad idea, personally. I think having it be... You... Yeah, having it be pure double dash all the time without it having like single car, single person car kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, I could see the, uh, I, I could see how that could get boring. But if, if, if they did like a thing where it's like, no, because that would be too much work for Nintendo. <laughs> Would Nintendo want to spend ages making a Mario Kart game just to use... There's two Marios on the track. That is literally the last corner. Are you sucking my dick right now? Jesus Christ. I can't get a win. Fine, we'll go on, we'll go on the last DLC Grand Prix and see if we can get a win here. <laughs> Trying 
Trying to get a win is quite hard. Or all wins. That's the problem. Ba -da -ba -da. Although I think we can all agree that the 3DS version was the worst Mario Kart. Just okay. It added the the cool thing about you know uh, flying and uh, going underwater, but it was so boring. It was so just like I completed it and went. Okay, I guess I'll try playing the online. But now you can't play online because you have to play fucking Nintendo. Play Nintendo online subscription. Because now I, I've Splatoon 2. I have Splatoon 2. And I can't. I literally can't play Splatoon 2. Because the whole point of it is like online. And I'm just like. Stupid. It's so annoying. <laughs> and then and then they go, oh yeah, if you get the online service, we'll give you Tetris Battle Royale for free. I'm like, yeah, but you can play Fortnite on your Switch without having the subscription. I think. I'm not entirely sure about that. Yeah. Yeah, Mark up. <laughs> Uh, the the best way that they could do it is if they had like, in, like you choose your like before you choose your CC, choose essentially the difficulty. You choose whether you want. Are you kidding me? I see that. How about you? Absolutely. Really, the last lap. Are you? Fucking kidding me! The last lap, and you hit me with a blue shell just before the ending. You suck so hard, game. Fuck you. <laughs> Ideal Mario Kart. Yeah, it would be so you could choose, like, you would choose the two characters, or you choose one character. So you could still have that option, but again, that would be like having too much power or having too much work for. But c c considering that fucking Nintendo didn't really make Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, like they didn't really work on it. They made Mario Kart 8 and then went, and then made the Switch and then went. Well, no one played the Wii U, so we could just. I, I, I find that weird as well. It's like it's like all the sort of like Wii U games are getting like ported to the Switch or you know are uh, getting ported like if they were exclusive to the Wii U, they're getting ported to uh, other consoles and the PC and stuff. But Splatoon was the only one that didn't really get like a uh, a port or anything. It literally got a sequel. And it's a, it's a very weird thing. It's like... Like what, there was Super Mario 3D Land and 3D World. Um... But, oh. Sorry, I, I, I just keep thinking about, like, just... <laughs> Nintendo just failing and sort of just counteracting with their own console releases and... But it... Oh, it's... it's Nintendo, what are you doing to yourselves? <laughs> like, just keep. Like, just keep. It's just a, 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 a Nintendo.
console has never kept the same controller. Like, okay, you can use the Wii Motes from the Wii on the Wii U. You can... You know, you can use the Wii U Pro Controller on uh, the Switch. The USB... Uh, not the USB ones. The, um, the Bluetooth ones. But if you look at, like, sort of the controllers that came with just the console... No Nintendo, no Nintendo consoles had the same controller. Like, a, like not even remotely the same controller. Like PlayStation has kept its controller the same all the way through. So it was pretty much the Xbox. Like if you look at the original Xbox controller and then you look at 360 and you look at the Xbox One, it's still pretty much the same. Well, they refined it from the original Xbox controller and then they made it fucking horrendous with the Xbox One controller, so, you know. Um, but, like, you look at the, the NES controller, and it's just a rectangle. It's not comfortable to hold. It's the most awkward thing in the fucking world. <laughs> it's like, ah, yes. Control, controller technology has peaked. And then, uh... Well, the SNES controller was like, oh, we've, we've given you a rectangle, but we've given you curved edges and some bumpers and some more buttons. Cool. And then uh, the N64 controller, and it's like, we've got three handles. Yeah. <laughs> and then the GameCube just went, we don't know where to put the D-pad or the other analog stick. So we're just going to put it, you know, in inconvenient positions. If you try to play anything other than, like, a Mario game, it, it's just inconvenient as all hell. <laughs> like, what, Time Splitters was released on the GameCube. I cannot um, begin to imagine how terrible first-person shooter controls were on the GameCube. It must have been just terrible. <laughs> and then the Wii! It's, it's just... It's just like, okay, we, we we looked at the NES controller, and we thought, move control. It's just crazy. And, um, yeah, and then the Wii U. Hey, we'll give you a gamepad. <laughs> While the 3DS over there is like, oh, but I... But I'm essentially a gamepad. <laughs> we use just like get out of here. And then the Switch being portable. Now the 3DS is just dead. There was a new 3. There were, do, pe do people remember that? There was. Oh my God! The DS just life. The, how many DSs and 3DSs have been released? It's ridiculous as well. <laughs> and then you look at the Switch controllers, and it's like, okay, they're like the Wii Remote, but there's two of them positioned kind of like a 360 controller like an Xbox controller kind of thing but now there's also the uh, the most infamous button the capture taken button which I don't it's it's the thing of just like the the like the controllers just have to change their buttons like it's no longer start and select no we have to have Options and share, or whatever the Xbox One has, because the Xbox One just went with symbols. The amount of times I've had to look at the controller, look at the screen, look at the controller, and then press the button that I want for that. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, and oh boy, great times, great times. Oh, of course, we get lightning, and someone just happened to throw that just at the point of lightning. Sure. 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, let's talk about the DS. I love the original DS. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, but it was a fat DS. It, you know, it, it was fat. It didn't look pretty. It, it looked fucking pretty. How about fuck you? <laughs> no, what? 
The one time it does it, the one time it like I want it to go straight ahead and not, you know, directly to like the side of me. Um, yeah, the original one. Then there was the DS Lite, L I T E, because Nintendo. And um. Yeah, and then and that one, you know, obviously like it closed at aesthetically, but it was you, f motherfucker. Are you kidding me? You can't keep doing this game. You can't. You can't. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. It's not. It's not even the mirror mode. The mirror mode isn't even the bit that's fucking me up. It's literally just the. <laughs> I got to the third one, you. Let's go do the fucking fucking one else up. Um, yeah. Then there was the DS Lite. Then there was was it the DSi where it had the camera? I think it was the one where it had the camp. Yeah. The DSi. And that was fucking weird as well then what th then it was the DSi XL wasn't it didn't they bring out like a bigger version of the DSi was, was it that or was it something else because I think there was a oh, or was it the 3DS at that point I think it might have been the small 3DS Well, there might have been an XL. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting all this mixed up. Even though I was like, yeah, I'm going to tell everyone how it works. I don't even know myself. Um, yeah, I, th I think it went... There was a DSi and then DSi XL. And then there was the 3DS. Which initially looked like the DS Lite. But obviously had 3D. And then there was... Uh, the <coughs> 3DS and well yeah then it was the 3DS and the 3DS XL and um, yeah and that that's where I got my three because I got the I got the the uh, the original the OG are you fucking kidding me are you serious right now Dude, that's four red shells you've thrown at me. <laughs> yeah, then then there was Yeah, then then I got uh, the 3DS because it was 3DS and the 2DS. Which was a bit weird because essentially the but then it was like, "Oh, we're going to be releasing 3DS games." Which, you know, was like, "Oh, Okay. Like original DS games can work with it, but if you want to play the 3DS games. <laughs> yeah, you want to play these 3DS games. <laughs> yeah, there was that. And then, what was it? Uh, yeah, then there was 2DS, which was just a flat plank, which is a stupid idea. Why not have the fold in it? Oh, to make it like a hundred pounds cheaper, I missed the thing. And then, yeah, then, then that was a thing. Then, uh, what was it? Then it was the... I, th I think they were they were out for quite a while, the 3DS, 3DS XL, and the uh, 2DS thing. Then it was the yeah. Th then no no no. Then it was the new 3DS. That was ridiculous.
and just a new 3DS where we've added like a little an, another little like joystick nub and <laughs> And uh, that was. And 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 then they introduced, and then they just went, okay, here's the two DS. It like here's here's the, I don't even know if they called it the new two DS. But that. Then, then it was just like, okay, here's the here's the 2DS that can fold. It can be a foldable thing now, and it can play the new 3DS games because that was also a specific thing as well. Because obviously the the C stick kind of thing, and uh, and it's ridiculous. And then, and then, and then they're like, "Yeah, new 3DS. We're releasing games for it." And then they bring out the Switch, and the Switch is just like, "We're portable." And then everyone goes, "Well, why did I buy a 3DS? Then buy a new 3DS, an evening, and then buy, and then now there's the Switch, which is portable and has like Skyrim on a plane." God memes in the chat. I'm 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 not even gonna correct because I know I know that I know that's a bad meme. Good. <laughs> it's a good thing the chat isn't actually on the screen. Then I can have everyone. Who, uh, who watches these back on YouTube just be like like who is this who is this person doing crap memes yeah. <laughs> Trying to concentrate back on the game rather than ranting about how Nintendo basically just went, <laughs> like, made a great handheld console, you know, because they essentially did the Game Boy. Like, the Game Boy is one of the most successful consoles just entirely. And then they screwed it up by. They screwed it up by doing the 3DS and having the 2DS come alongside it. But doing the 2DS not as a foldable console. Because that was the only reason I got a 3DS. And and, and also because the 3D the 3D is very naff on it. <clears throat> but it's just So yeah, and and now the Switch, the 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 Switch, while it being a great console, a lot of the games are expensive. The console's overpriced as fuck. Um, a lot of the games that are somewhat enjoyable to play, you need the online. Well, a lot of a lot of other people would need the online. Um, for it to have any kind of long-lasting kind of thing. Like look, like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here. Like, I I I have a lot of fun playing it, you know, just sort of by myself or local. You know, I I don't have a problem playing this without playing it online. So I've got no problem with that. But I know a lot of other people would be like, well, it needs needs to have online for it to be, you know, have longevity. 
Same thing with, as I said earlier, Splatoon 2, where, you know, Splatoon is a game that's basically just online. Splatoon 2 had a... I still haven't finished that. I still haven't finished that. No one... <laughs> no one remembers when I, uh, when I did that. I already have two parts of the Splatoon 2 single player. Say goodbye to the frames, to the bitrate, to the goddamn quality of the stream. Do not worry, it is not you, it is uh, the compression, the bitrate, the whatever of it, going from uh, just having to go through Streamlabs to go to Twitch. I mean, it's, it, it's my fault because I need to fix it. I just, I only realized when I started the stream and I'm like, well, I'm already like, yeah, I, I was like, I'm, well, I'm already, you know, the stream has already been going for like five minutes. Also, to anyone who was in the stream, who was in the stream and saw the uh, pre-stream music, yeah, I'm not joking. I I went on to uh, get out of here. I went on to the uh, to the site that I get all sort of like the video game soundtrack stuff I have. You. Yeah, I went on there and I was like, oh, I'll get something from Mario Kart 8. I'm playing Mario Kart 8, why not? Kind of thing. Um, so I did, and then I was like, oh, Bowser's Castle. You know, that would be an interesting one to have in pre-stream music. And uh, and I did. And it's some like, really weird sort of like guitar riffs and everything. And I'm like, I don't remember Bowser's Castle being like this kind of metal, as it were. Like, I, I just remember the sort of the um, 64 and Double Dash, Bowser's Castle. A1900. God, if you have to really get 10,000 coins to... If you have to get 10,000, Jesus Christ. Um, whatever I was saying before. Hardly <laughs> two down. What do we get? Ooh, Azure Rollers. What well, was wrong with the classic one? Though. fuck I'm saying. Uh, Alright, what we got? Uh, was it that and the egg? Yeah, the lightning and the egg cup. Um, oh. Do this cup, because it's got my favourite course, Mount Warrior. I genuinely love Mount Warrior. Oh yeah, about the music for Bowser's Castle. Yeah, it's got a weird guitar riff kind of thing. It goes off like three minutes. I, as I said, I didn't realise that. I, I kind of noticed like the ominous kind of music of like a Double Dash or 64, where it's like the, oh, or like the kind of choir kind of thing. Shit like that. I wonder if I'll ever do like a family friendly stream. That's not gonna happen. I 
I bet there's going to be some people to watch me play this and go, eh, you know Crash Team Racing is a better racing game than this. It's a better kart racer, it's the best kart racer, duh, duh, duh. Excuse me? Diddy Kong Racing is the best kart racer. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, but I, I never played Crash Team Racing when it came out. I only recently at... Um, <laughs> this this is going to be a really weird thing. Um, there was a like an event or something at the L Science Museum in London. And you could go in there and you could play so many games like they had so many consoles so many like retro consoles and stuff and I was like that's amazing you know went there um, a lot of people annoyingly had like sort of the Xbox kind of ones and then they're playing like games they would be playing at home it's like oh yeah let's play, like Halo LAN or something and I'm like why are you playing Halo LAN here you paid to get in here so why are you playing something you'd be playing at home <laughs> um yeah but at, at that event that's when i first played crash nitro kart which is the ps2 sequel um to crash team racing and that was the only time i've ever played a crash racing or like any of the crash team racing or crash nitro kart Someone might mention Crash, Crash Tag Team Racing, and I go, yes, that's actually amazing, and I love that game. But I don't count that because it's essentially trying to be Mario Kart Double Dash without being Double Dash, but also being with more violence. Yeah, so that that was the first time. It it it. it <laughs> It, it kind of also annoyed me because, like, um, the event you only had like a certain amount of time before you, before you had to, uh, like, leave before like the next group came in, and um, and 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 just as they were like, okay, you've got like ten minutes, you got like fifteen minutes or something before we close, and uh, me and my girlfriend were playing um, Crash Nitro Kart because I was like, oh, you know, it's like fun game. Or whatever. Um, and, we, and we were playing it, and there was like a Dreamcast like next to us, and uh, like it, 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 it was kind of hard like you like to get on like any kind of of the uh, systems. You did have to kind of like, stand behind people, or sit or sit like next to them doing like something else. That was a bit uh, a bit awkward. It's a bit it's a bit like if you go to like any kind of like gaming event like. Uh, Res or EGX, and um, uh, but yeah, like I, the, the annoying thing is that, is that like I noticed it just as it was like okay, we finished our thing, we've got like five, you got like five minutes, everyone's like getting their stuff and getting to leave and stuff, and um, and I noticed it, and it was like the Dreamcast, and I was like. Finish the finish the race or whatever on the game, and then um, I saw that there was uh, one of my favourite Dreamcast games, uh, Choo Choo Rocket, was uh, was right there next one, and I was like, oh, "You!" Like, because I didn't realise it, I got like annoyed with myself because like we had to leave, and I was like, "No, I love this game. It's insane." And like I, would, I just love to just sort of like explain the concept to my girlfriend, just as just well, just to be like, look, here's the game. You you've got you're you're essentially kind of controlling a rocket that you've got to get mice into, and you got to avoid the cats. And you place down like arrows and stuff. To get mice into your thing, but there's also other people. <laughs> I just love to try and explain that and just feel like, hey, here's the game. It gets insane. <laughs> um, yeah, I unfortunately didn't get to play it. 
But I'm, I'm, like, if if it's somehow I get like an influx of money that I can then spend on anything I want without having to worry about kind of anything, I would pick up like. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the things I'd pick up is probably a CRT TV, and then pick up Time Crisis Two, Time Crisis One, Time Crisis Three, some light guns, and stuff like that. <laughs> I really want to play some light gun games, or I'd use that money to instead of buy like light gun games, buy light gun games on PC maybe, and then buy like one of the one of these like kickstarted uh, light gun things. I can't remember exactly the name, but it's like a it's like a new age light gun. Doesn't need any sensors. It essentially just tracks where like sort of you set the thing for your um, screen so it goes okay there's the screen I'm only gonna you know work inside the screen and obviously like where it kind of points it's really cool it's quite expensive it's, it's quite expensive but considering like you know the only way to get a light gun fix would be to go to an arcade which a lot of them either have like a like the really crappy like House of the Dead four or five, and Time Crisis five and six, which are the kind of crappy ones, rather than playing like you know the good ones like Time Crisis two, House of the Dead two, House of the Dead three, and stuff like that. You know, you have to kind of deal with the crappy ones. Or then it's like the Terminator or Aliens one. It's like what is any of this? But sometimes you can find those old, old games. But anyway, so I'd do that first of all, and then I'd get like a Dreamcast and get all sort of like classic games for it. Well, games that I consider classics that pretty much no one else knows about. Like, um, there was a uh, there's Choo Choo Rocket, which is a great party game. It 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 and it's single player, so you think like, oh, it must be like a multiplayer kind of only thing. Well, you can pl I believe you can play against the AI in, s in single player, or like, sort of solo. But uh, there's also like puzzles, like puzzle kind of things you can do, which is pretty cool as well. Um, then there was the inspiration behind like my first Xbox Gamer Tag, which is a game known as uh, Speed Devils. Which is it, it? It's not like a. It's not like an amazing racing game by today's sort of standards, but back in like what ninety nine on the Dreamcast, it it was amazing. It looked amazing and everything. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, that game tag doesn't exist anymore because now it is Stealthy Wolf X Alive, obviously. What you think it was something else? Um, yeah, then there was, I mean, Sonic Adventure, the classic. A lot of, a, a, a lot of people shit on Sonic Adventure, but I'm, I'm more of like, it's a nostalgia thing, but I genuinely think like the game's pretty good, like barring some of the bugs and sort of glitches, it's actually a really good game. <clears throat> pretty solid game. Um... What else was there? There was actually Sonic Adventure 2. I didn't realise Sonic Adventure 2 came out on the uh, Dreamcast first and then was ported to the GameCube like uh, Sonic Adventure was as well. Uh, what else was there on the Dreamcast that I remember? Um, oh, there was a game called Toy Racer and a sort of a spin off of a game called Toy Commander. Which, Toy Commander was kind of like a strategy, a, like a real-time strategy game. But it was like you were controlling toys, you were controlling sort of little toy airplanes, toy tanks, toy trucks, and that kind of thing. And there was like objectives per level, and then you had like a boss and stuff. And uh, the Toy Racer game was essentially all of those cars and all of those kind of tracks and everything 
made into a racing game that was pretty cool. Uh, oh, there was Crazy Taxi 2 as well. I, genuinely, I think Crazy Taxi 2... like. I guess it's kind of the same thing that I have with uh, <coughs> with um, Jet Set Radio. Like the Jet Set Jet Set Radio One is a classic game, and so is um, you know Crazy Taxi One. But then Crazy Taxi Two and Three are a lot better than One. One is very basic, but Two and Three are a lot better. And then the same with Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio Future is a lot is a better game than Jet Set Radio. But what do they keep remaking? What do they keep porting to newer consoles? The first one. It's like, if you've got the first one, do the net do the other ones. And so we've got another three star there. Hey three three stars. While I'm rambling on about old games that no one cares about. <laughs> Uh, right, I, I, I want to see if Bowser's Castle genuinely has the sound has the soundtrack kind of thing where it's like very metal music. Because I don't believe that for a second. Yeah. And old school games as well. They're, if I keep talking about old school games, there's just going to be like the entire thing is just going to be about old school games. But there was another one that had a really cool idea, and I think it's the only game that's ever done this. And it was called Chase Hollywood Stunt Driver for the original Xbox. And the, the game, okay, looking back on it, it kind of seems simple and easy and everything. Um, but, I mean, I mean, originally when I played it, it was quite hard. It's quite hard to do. Um... But yeah, it, it, it was like a Hollywood kind of stunt driver thing. You basically did scenes like a kind of racing game. Because you were just in cars constantly. Cars, bikes, buggies, that kind of thing. Um, but it was like... Yeah, you, you essentially did like movie scenes and everything. And there were like objectives to doing the movie scene. Um... You know, oh, you would just spawn me up there. That weird sound of woo! Oh come on! I get hit by a red shell and I go back into fit. All that timing. Um. But yeah, and it and it was that kind of thing. It was pretty good, you know. As, as you can be. And, uh... Re re really great game. Really great game. There was even, like, a solid, like, missions kind of thing that you could do. Like, extra stuff. And then there was, uh... The, the, lo the sort of, uh... Multiplayer kind of thing. Local multiplayer was really fun. And, uh... And so, so you did all that, did all that kind of stuff, but there was a an Xbox official Xbox magazine demo disc that had the game as sort of the I believe demo of the month, or like demo disc sort of like magazine month kind of thing, and um and it 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 had like a level, and it but the thing was is it was a level that wasn't in the actual game like it was a level made purely for this demo disc and and again like I said I think it was the first one and the only one to ever do it but it was yeah like I, I had that demo disc and I had the actual game so essentially I got kind of free DLC like an extra like well I guess, I guess it wasn't free you had to pay for like the magazine but I, th I I, th I think that was more of a someone else bought the magazines and I was just like well I play the game so I'm going to get the demo discs 
Oh, de demo discs were the greatest thing. But now demos don't even exist anymore, or even that much. And it sucks, that, does that be the main thing I do on 360, it's like, okay. It was, it was even when, um, what was, there's a demo of, uh, World at War and a demo of, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 is the cliffhanger level, and the, uh, World at War one was, maybe the, the third American side mission? I was like, just playing those as demos is like, this is like really good. And then obviously you compare the demo to like the full game and you go, ah, yeah, you can see where they changed these things or did this differently or... You know, and stuff like that. But yeah, but like, Ch Chase Hollywood Stunt Driver, it, it's a great game. There is actually uh, like playthrough online, so you, you don't have to like, you know... I don't think there's a speed run for it. If there isn't, I'd love to do that. I don't know, I'd need to find the console, I need to find a controller that works, and I need to find the game. But, uh... Yeah. Such a great game. Um, yeah. Now let's talk about demo discs. The, the mo like I had some, I had a, a couple demo discs. Like I think maybe two or three demo discs for the PlayStation One, and then one demo disc for the PS2, and then just a whole heap of demo discs for the um, for the original Xbox. Like I had more demo discs than I did games for the original Xbox. <laughs> Okay, wait, the soundtrack. Is this metal as fuck? I can't really hear it. Oh, wait, I can hear it. Yeah, it, it's metal as fuck. What is this? I didn't notice that, I gotta be honest. Anyway, back to demo discs. Um, yeah, on, on some of them there was like, uh, you'd have, uh, like, you'd, you'd have a couple of demos, maybe like, between sort of like four and seven, four and six maybe. And, you, and then you'd have like some trailers for like upcoming games. And, uh, just some of the games just look. It is it it is it, 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 oh, I should bring back a lot of nostalgia now. Oh my god. Um. But yeah, the uh. Ah, oh, the nostalgia with demo discs. Oh. What just happened? Anyway, demo discs. Yeah, but then there was one that was like a huge sort of compilation of maybe 20 or something demos that was insane. It had like a demo for Rocky. It had a demo for... Um, uh, it's the only one I can remember, but th th there was just like a ton of demos. Th there'd even be like videos on like oh you know like cheats and stuff, where it'd be like um, one of the cheats for the original like Spider-Man, uh, sort of the Spi Spider-Man one that was the movie that was the game adaptation of the movie with 
what's his face in it? You know, the three good Spider-Man movies compared to The Amazing Spider-Man and whatever Spider-Man we've got now. Ten-year-old Spider-Man. And, uh, yeah, and it, and it would be like, oh, you can play as the Green Goblin. And it's like, what? How do I do this cheat? And you go like, oh, if you start the game when you get, like, proper sp Spider-Man suit Spider-Man. The proper suit. And then you, uh... And then you, like, like, you start that level and then you go round like a building you go to another building you save like this woman you get like access to the green goblin that's pretty cool I, I, I never did it because I was never good at that game yeah that, that was pretty cool Uh, nostalgia. <laughs> See that banana? You son of a bitch. You! I didn't even get the items! I was promised two items. Gee, I couldn't stop. I was on one and I couldn't stop. I need full concentration on this, I'm sorry. I would say full concentration if I didn't keep getting hit. I've got no coins. Something useful. A star. A star is not useful on this course. You may think it is, but it is not. Why shells? Have everything shells? Okay, I'm in lead again. Okay. Breathe. No. My favorite N my favorite Rainbow Road is the N64 though. I mean, because it's just so long. It's like, this is what a course should be like. A course should be long and a slog. It also gives you time to uh, catch up. Don't fall off again. Where'd you get three mushrooms? No! 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 You! Ah! Baby Rosalind, you s- ah. I- That was literally the last course. That was the last course of that and I could have won it. You complete twat. Baby Rosalina, you suck. Can we talk about the characters in Mario Kart? Like, how many characters they could have put in that they didn't put in just because they wanted six different variations of Mario? It's like, you already have different colour, like... Yeah, you, you, you have the ability to have different colour... Yoshis. Even though in Yoshi's story, they're all, you know... They're, they're all different, you know? They're not all the same Yoshi, just different colours. You know. And like Shy Guy is the same thing. But no, you have to have 
Metal Mario, Tanuki Mario, and it's like you have to peach and what Cat Peach, and Pink Gold Peach, and Metal Mario. Why? You couldn't think of any other characters to put in? I could think of a ton of characters to put in. But I, I need to see the expansive list first of all. I, yeah, I need to see the list of this game first before I say anything. But it's like, you couldn't have like Metal Mario or Gold Mario or Tanuki Mario or anything like that as skins for Mario. The same thing as like Dry Bowser and Bowser. Like you couldn't just have... And I, I love that they did like run out of ideas for characters. As well, not just like the the duplicates the kind of thing, but having all of the 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 Koopalings. Are they Koopalings? I can't remember what their official thing is called. But it's like, really? You need to have every single one of them. No one knows who the they are, and no one's really gonna care. But oh wow, there's like a a crazy-eyed one that. Kind of looks like a Bowser kind of thing. So, yeah, and then and then in DLC, you put like what male and female villager, and you put two you put Splatoon boy and Splatoon girl. What you couldn't just. You couldn't just change that? And then all the baby variants. No, we the only ones that the only one that really makes sense, I believe, is Baby Mario. Cause that was what Super Mario World 2. None of the other ones really make sense. Maybe Baby Luigi. But really, like Baby Peach, Baby Daisy, Baby Rosalina? They make sense? No. Like, no. None of that makes sense. It's like even some of the characters that were in Mario Kart 7, you couldn't bring them over? You couldn't bring Wiggler? Like, Wiggler! <sighs> Stupid. Does anyone remember, uh, speaking of sort of like random characters, does anyone remember a game, um, I think it went through a couple of different names and it was named different things in different countries, but there was a Donkey Kong racing game on like jet barrels or something, like Donkey Kong Barrel Blast or Jet, how did I hit that banana when I've got three bananas around me that should have protected, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, Donkey Kong Jet Blast, Barrel Blast, or something like that. It was like Donkey Kong Racing Game, like the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck, and you had to like sort of swing them about to sort of get like speed up. And ah, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was like Donkey Kong Jet or Jet something or Barrel Blast. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember the proper name of it, but like it, it, it was kind of slightly hyped up, and then released, and no one cared. It was a bit of a weird thing. Can I say it was kind of hyped up? Yeah, I, I assume if you go onto like Wikipedia and like go through a list of like Wii games 
you'd find like Donkey Kong racing game or something. Yeah, because that, that had like tons of Donkey Kong characters. Like back from Donkey Kong Country, um, Donkey Kong 64, and all that kind of thing. Much more variation than characters in this, Christ. Like, okay, why is there no paratrooper if there's a Koopa character that you can play as? Because paratrooper is a completely different character in Double Dash. And where's Diddy Kong as well? Wait, is Diddy? No, I think Diddy Kong's in this. Oops. See, that's the thing. That's why I need to see the character list before I start saying stupid shit. Yeah, that, that, that was a weird thing. Diddy Kong... Obviously, Diddy Kong Racing was pretty much just a bunch of rare... No, nah, rare. Rareware, there you go, characters in a racing game. Um, yeah, so it's, 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 it's a very sort of, like, weird thing to kind of, like, look back on and kind of just go, like, oh, yeah, there was, you know... There was like Crunch. There was Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day. There was Banjo from Banjo Kazooie. There's probably a bunch of other like minor characters in other games or major characters in other games. Oh look, another blue shell. <laughs> at, at, the, at this point, it's 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 not even like my ineptitude that makes me lose. It's the game just going, "Hey, we're gonna send you know like three red shells because you need to slow the fuck down." Like also, like I, I know Sonic is a Sega property, but if Sonic was in Smash Brothers, doesn't that mean Sonic could have been in Mario Kart? Or is that just me wishful thinking? Being like, eh. Although, although they wouldn't do what they've done, you know, like in Sonic Team Racing or any other racing game with Sonic in it, because Sonic should just run! You know? Why would Sonic get in a car? Unless to make it fair to be like, look, Sonic, Sonic running is so fast, we need to put him in a car just so he slows down. Like, say that, it makes more sense for for them to say that in like the kind of competition for a Sonic racing game. All the all the other way around, it's like Sonic is way too fast. We're gonna create cars and go karts that go as fast as Sonic. You know, just to keep up. Like, that would make sense, but then, no, they had to make Sonic Team Racing that apparently is a terrible game unless you're playing with other people. Like, playing with the AI is just crap. Hell camera. <laughs> Let's talk about future games while I ruin this somehow. Okay, good. So we're good in the game, screw me over. Oh what? I didn't even know you could fall down there. Rude. Is that gonna hit me? Of course it does! Why would it not? Why would it not? 
Now Lakitu so far ahead, it's ridiculous. Why? Why? That was a green shell. Why? You give me a coin. Are you stupid? Why is the soundtrack of this, the theme of this course, reminds me of um, a Diddy Kong racing track. Which I don't remember the name of the Diddy Kong racing track, so I can't tell you to go check it out. Just go check out Diddy Kong racing. Oh my god, how did I save that in the last lap? Someone tell me, because I don't, I physically don't know. Because somehow I managed to win that. I, no idea. No idea. No clue. But, uh, Do we get anything? 2,000 coins! Vehicle customization. Yeah! Alright, can we do one more? Can we make it 5 out of 12? Oh my god, more wheels? Normal. What is normal blue? So if I go to normal. So it's 3. Three, four, three, four, three and a half. Three, four, it's pretty much the same. Alright, cool, we'll use it then. Make it, make it blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Um. Uh, I think these, these two are the only ones I haven't tried, I think. Yeah, I tried everything <laughs> Lost on the first one on that one. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. This might be the last one, depending on how far I get through it. If I actually beat this, this will be the last track. If I don't beat it, we'll we'll see how far I got through this one. Da 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 da. Okay. I prefer Wario. Uh, actually, what's this one called? This was this is Wario Stadium as well. I'm sorry, Wario Stadium for the DS. You're not as good as the Wario Stadium for the 64 version. But uh, I think. Wario Coliseum on the uh, GameCube was a pretty, was a really good course. It was such a pain on a uh, mirror mode though. I, I remember trying to do that. Like I like I was so confused by the mirror mode and I was so bad at it that like I was like okay right I've got to try and beat mirror mode. But there was no way for me to practice the thing without actually doing like the Grand Prix and stuff. Um, yeah, so I tried to do like time trials, but time trials wouldn't let you do mirror mode. So I was like, God damn it! There's no way I can practice. I was basically doing like the All Cup Tour mirror mode. Oh my god! Cool, I get a coin. Thanks, game. One thing I've always wanted. Let's go back to a topic that I was talking about maybe half an hour ago or something by this point. But the um, ideal Mario Kart. So you, 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 you can have your 
Did I just avoid the blue shell with a boost? Did I? Was that boost? Did I avoid it by a boost, or was it because I was still sort of semi lightninged? I don't know. I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count that as I uh, dodged that with a the thing. Holy shit! They are so far behind that I'm expecting a... Oh no, last lap. I was about to say I'm going to expect a blue shell at some point, but no, that was the blue shell to stop me and it didn't because I got the boost. I don't even know how I did that. No, I should have done. Should have done that. <laughs> I hate the fact that you can go in water now, so then they just implemented this bit into the level. Why? Just keep it the same. Keep it the same. You don't need to add an underwater gimmick to a level that didn't have underwater gimmicks. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You suck. Actually, just think about it. you know what the most terrifying thing is in the uh, in um. Super Mario Odyssey. This this is this is a funny story. So um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna. I was like, uh, I was taking the train somewhere, and I was like, you know what I'll do? I'll play some Super Mario Odyssey. Like you know, play actual thing on the train. It was my intention. And I was like, yeah, I'll I'll play it. And then I realised that some of the sort of like motion controls are actually really useful. In Super Mario Odyssey, so I was like, uh, okay, I've I've kind of deal with that having the having the having those moves. Really? Um, yeah. So, so then I'm I'm playing it, and what one of the already terrifying things is in some of the water levels where you go underwater. Um, the seaweed things with eyes—they are terrifying. First of all. But they're not, they're not the main thing that I'm, like, that I'm mentioning here. Th th those things are, like, terrifying just in general. But there is, uh... Th there was one thing that, like, freaked me the fuck out. Because I'm, 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 like, on a trade, it's, you know, like... There's kind of, like, light kind of bounce off screen. I can't really see anything. And I'm like, oh, this is the worst decision I've ever made. But i got to kind of stick with it. But I was just I was just in an underwater section, and then like one of the big eels like came out of freaking nowhere. Like literally, it just came out of nowhere and just like shot up from like a hole in the ground, and I genuinely almost dropped my switch. <laughs> I almost dropped. Like I'm just holding my switch, just playing it in like uh, like handheld mode, and then that thing just happens, and I go ah, and I'm like almost like. Like someone was sitting next to me as well. <laughs> I felt so bad because I was just like, oh shit, that scared the shit out of me. I'm probably like, looked weird to the person sitting next to me. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Like it, 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 like it, it's also because like I wasn't expecting it. Um. I can't remember what the uh, level was. I think it was the beach one. I think that was the one that I started doing. And I realised I'm not going to play Super Mario Odyssey on... Like that on anything. So, uh... So, yeah, so that was, uh... Kind of terrifying. <laughs> But no, the, the, the seaweed thing still freaked me out. 
just because just because they do like they, they just look really creepy and it's like the only way to like you can't hit them with anything apart from your hat and you're underwater so your hat is just like the most unreliable thing to try and hit things with ever Yeah, um, kind of, kind of scar me for life. I mean, the thing that kind of terrified me back in the day was the eel in the sunken ship in the uh, Super Mario 64. So you know, I mean, it makes sense. I like, get scared of more eels, especially when they ha like. Do they have to look like not? Not like realistic, but more terrifying than kind of like their derpy selves. Even the ones that are in like the DS New Super Mario Brothers. Like, do they really have to look that terrifying? Like, they just look like they're just gonna eat my soul. That would have ended my run. Ah. Next race. The final one, right? I think it's the final one. Yeah, final one. Ba ba da ba ba. Ba -do 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 -do. Uh, it's this way. <laughs> like, what's the fastest route? Is it's now reversed? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Oh, I've got a horn. If, if they'd make it more reliable to dodge or destroy or avoid a blue shell, dodge and avoid are the same thing, then you wouldn't need to implement that kind of item where it's an instant destroying of the blue shell. Oh, fuck. Here's a blue shell. Quick, give me something. That's not anything. Also, the re-implementation of coins. Can I just point that out? Is also a terrible thing. Like, I don't, I I just it annoys me. Probably only annoys me. It's like, oh, if you want to get to, like, full speed, you have to collect ten coins and keep them. But the amount of times you get hit by shit and lose three coins constantly. It's very much the kind of thing of, like, why? out for that blue shell. I guarantee there's going to be a blue shell just before I get to the line. No? No blue shell? No blue shell? You're telling me no one bothered to try and throw a blue shell at me. That's a first. The, the annoying thing, to get three stars you have to win every race. Whereas in the Wii version and the DS version it wasn't. It was like some random equation. That they did that didn't make any sense. But like 
if I win any, if I lose any race, even if I come second, it doesn't matter if I'm still winning overall. I still won't get three stars. Get any? No, nothing. Nothing extra, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's uh, mirror mode. What is that? Uh, one, who's five of them. Ouija. Yeah, there's five of them where we have the flower cup, the star cup, the leaf cup, the lightning cup, and the egg cup. With, for some reason, the banana cup only getting one star. I don't know why. I don't remember attempting banana cup at any point. Maybe. Um, but yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it on this menu because the music starts loud. But thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, please uh, do like and subscribe. Subscribing is free. Liking the video is also free. Um, even commenting down below is free. If you want to comment something. Um, I appreciate every single one of you over there. If you want to get more information on streaming times, this is obviously a live stream. You can follow me on Twitter at StealthWolfXLive. It's the best place. Uh, to get any kind of updates or anything about stream times, uh, videos going live, uh, Twitch videos, Twitch specific videos going live, and anything like that. And yeah, kind of just important information is Twitter. But if you want to just keep it to just YouTube, that's completely fine. Videos will still go up as normal. Um, however, there won't be any kind of like special announcements or anything. So you might be missing out. So the best place to probably follow me is on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash DelphalFXLive right down there. Um, it's the best place to follow me because you'll get the Twitch specific videos and the Twitch videos, that the same ones that go on YouTube. And you'll also be getting the full streams as well that are up there. Um, where instead of I just taking like the chunk that I do for the video, you get like the bit before it and the bit after it. Where there's pre-stream music, so kind of chill kind of thing. There's also... Um, I talk about a bit beforehand and kind of streaming stuff you do that as well and if you really want to support the channel and really actually like put money towards it without donating towards me but you get something really cool out of it um, I've, I've been saying it's Streamlabs creator sites I think it might be Streamlabs Prime maybe um but yeah, if you go to that link there, tinyurl.com slash SWXLI, you can go there. You will get a discount on the annual and the monthly, uh, whichever one you decide to pick up. Of I think, yeah, it's Streamlab Prime or Creator, creator Sites. I don't know. I go to that link and it gives me Creator Site thing, but I'm not sure if that's something different for someone else. Prime or something. You get to create your own websites through Streamlabs and it's all very intuitive and helpful and everything and it's not like you have to code anything or go through any kind of long process. It's like you put stuff there, stuff there, stuff here and it just all works. You also get to choose from like a variety of like domain kind of names as well. Um, the monthly one gets you a where if you choose the monthly one go through that link it gives you a monthly um You get you get the discount for the monthly one of nine dollars discount, and if you go for the annual one, you get a ten dollar discount, and there'll be uh, money going towards me as well. If you do that, if you do choose to do that, obviously it's not free to do so, but you do get you know a nine and sort of ten dollar discount that might be a bit more enticing to someone. But sorry about that long sort of drawn thing. But thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video, or whatever you decide to watch, uh, next of mine. So, peace out.